Hello, folks. I have previously discussed the public pension problem at the state level and how we might correct it. But today I want to inform you about the companion problem brewing with local government pensions. While our state pension system is $40 billion underfunded, the local municipalities are another $8 billion underfunded. This is a significant deficit. Part of the problem stems from the sheer number of pensions in the hopper. Pennsylvania has over 3,200 local government pension plans, which accounts for 25% of all the public plans in the United States. Yes, listen to that figure. It's alarming. To give you a little context, consider that while Pennsylvania has over 3,200 plans, the nearest competitor, Illinois, has 451, Florida, 302, Michigan, 132. Our neighbor states, like Maryland, have only 14, New York has 8, Ohio has 1. It is easy to see the administrative savings that might result from a consolidation at some level, especially considering that 67% of the plans support 10 or fewer employees. Most of these pension plans are defined benefit plans, which are heavily funded by the taxpayers. The investment risk is borne by the taxpayers, especially since most plans are expecting annual investment returns in the range of 7.5% to 8%. By the way, in the last few years, the average return has been far below expectations, and taxpayers must make up the difference whenever the pension investments fail to get the rate of return they require. Now let me be clear. We know that some type of change to the system must happen. My primary concern will always remain to protect those currently on retirement while securing the system for future beneficiaries. We need to maintain a system that is competitive, fair, and affordable for the taxpayers. As pension plan costs at the state level are scheduled to skyrocket from 8.65% of payroll to 28% of payroll in the next few years, the system is in danger. There is still time to act on both systems, and the sooner the better. Currently, I am inclined to support a defined contribution system for both state and local plans that eliminates the unfunded liability on taxpayers and does not shift costs to future generations. As I mentioned, it will not affect current retirees, but will likely affect those who are just coming into the system. My goal will always remain to protect what has been earned up to now, but changes will have to occur for new employees to save the system. Additional reforms will still be required. A defined contribution plan by itself will not ensure fiscal solvency of the current defined benefit plans. The details and options will be discussed in the legislature in the coming months. I wanted you all to have a heads up on the problem and to prepare for possible solutions that legislators will offer from now into 2013. This is my effort to keep you informed of the macro problems facing the state and most importantly, the taxpayer in the near future. Rest assured, I will work to correct these problems in a fair and equitable way. Thank you.